R-E-S-P-E-C-T Find out what it means to me Hey guys! Yeah, sorry, I am tone deaf and I like singing What's wrong with me? Okay, welcome to another episode of Tech Deck Talk Time Where today, I will be reviewing Season Dos Numero Dos Season Tu Whatever, how to say two in another language De I don't know. I was just guessing. <laughs> um, I will be doing season two of At Summer Break Review. It'll be the same. I'll just talk about the character. So you you watch it. Then you subscribe, like, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go. Hey, guys. So I'm in front of my computer because last time I kind of just guessed on all the names and kind of messed up the video. But this time it's going to be professional. And we're going to, I'm going to look up all the names and then talk to you about them, tell you about them. And it'll give me a better visual of, like, cast and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first we have Catherine. Um, she actually goes by Kitty by most of the cast. Um, she's actually not in a lot of the, in my opinion, she's not in a lot of the, um, series this time. I don't know why I said this time, because she wasn't in there last time, last season. Anyway, um, but she's not a lot in there. She's not as prevalent or scene, um, but I will say you should watch it because something happens between Kitty and another character that you need to see. Drama bomb. <laughs> okay, um, next we have Josie. She is, she's, um, new this year again. Um, she is a model and best friends with Kitty, so yes. Um, she, to, in my opinion, Josie is, there's like, it's, eh, it's sometimes she's okay, and then sometimes she's not okay most of the time. <laughs> um, I mean, she's, it's, sh it's fine. It just seems like she kind of likes attention and drama. I don't know, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, next we have Whitney, which is one of the three, I believe, three returning characters. Um, so yeah. She, um, she's, she kind of changes this summer. She's not as, uh, she's definitely shown more, because last season she wasn't seen as much, um, but she's shown, like, in almost every episode. And she kind of changes. I won't say, like, I won't say how, but you just have to watch it and find out. Um, next we have Parham. Parham's an interesting one. Um, right here it says, fun-loving party animal. Animal. He may gossip, but he always tells it like it is. Um, I am 99% sure Parham is... Gay? I don't mean that offensively. I don't know why I whispered it. I feel like I just, I don't know. I just... I, something's wrong with me. Anyway, um, um, so I mean... I mean, it doesn't change my opinion of him. He's he seems fun. Um, he's he's uh he's definitely one of the wholehearted characters. Um, isn't afraid to well sometimes afraid to try new things. Um, but he just wants to make this his best summer yet and have lots and lots of fun. Next we have Akeem with two A's and two E's. Fancy. Um, he is one of the black only black characters. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, don't know why I need, feel, felt the need to tell you that, but, yeah. Uh, he actually ends up dating Whitney, but a lot of stuff happens. Again, you'll just have to watch it to find out what happens next. Um, oh, interesting thing I also thought about him was he's going to Yale. What? Brainiac, yes. Which just shows you that... You can party hardy and go to Ivy League schools. Next, we have Zach, yet another returning character. Um, probably one of the most popular on Summer Break. Um, he changed, He's kind of different this summer as well. He actually isn't as sensitive. and I mean, he kind of is, but just not as like, Oh no, a baby died, somebody cry. Um, not that sensitive. <laughs> um... So, yeah, and he seems a lot tougher, and he seems like he's actually, like, found himself and, like, what he wants to do in his life. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, 
another thing is Zach. Um, he actually, uh, there's one episode where he invites a special YouTuber on. Um, I won't tell you, but it rhymes with Smandria Smusset. Very incognito, I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, you should watch it also because of that. There's a special YouTuber on that, which is a big deal. Next we have Jacob. He's a new one. Um, I kind of relate with Jacob well because he seems like the funny guy who gets friend zoned all the time, which is exactly me. I know you'd never think that, but it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of relate with Jacob. He kind of gets friend zoned by this one girl on the show. Uh, won't say who. Just have to find out to watch. You'll have to watch to find out. Blah blah blah. <laughs> um, so yeah, Jacob's a cool guy. He's funny too. He wants to be a comedian. I think when he grows up. Next, we have Ray, another returning character. I believe the final returning character. Um, he he doesn't really change this summer, um, but he, mm, I mean, there are points where like he acts different than what I usually would think of Ray. But other than that, I mean, he's he's fine. Like I said last in my last video, um, he uh, he seems like a bad, but like a bad boy but uh once he gets to know him it's, it's perfectly fine and he ends up dating one one of the uh i'll just tell you he ends up dating josie so yeah next we have dash who is best friends with jacob actually um again he kind of seems like this is what i think he kind of seems like this year's ray like he replaced ray like he's this tough bad boy figure because last year it was just kind of like ray i thought um, but now it's Dash. Sorry, something under my eye. I think I'm going blind. I'm going blind. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dash is laid back, chilled, has humor. Um, like I said, best friends with Jacob. Definitely, I wouldn't say a player, but like, he definitely gets the ladies. Um, next we have Ava. Uh, Ava kind of isn't really a main character. She kind of shows up like a couple times. But um, she does kind of join the cast later on. Um, so yeah, she's best friends with Dash and Jacob. Um, so I mean, that's all. Like I said, there's not a lot to talk about her. Sorry, Ava. <laughs> and last we have Baylin, which everyone just calls her Bay. Yeah. Um, she actually, it's kind of funny. She is from Wisconsin. Um... But she moved to L.A. this year, and it's kind of funny because, like, you have this small-town Wisconsin girl. Or wait, I think it's Wisconsin. Was some country, or not country, <laughs> some state in the United States that has a lot of rural areas. Anyway, um, she moved to L.A. this summer, and she joins the cast, um, and her priority is having the best summer of them all so yeah that's the cast let's go back to talking about why i should why you should watch this okay and let's go okay first reason i think you should watch this is because like i said last time this is all real uh it's not scripted this is real teens talking Real, sorry, <laughs> Ta having real conversations, being real people, having real food. <laughs> um, so these aren't actors, these are real people. So that's definitely the most important thing. Um, second thing, reason I think you should watch this, is this, it's kind of actually funny this year. Like, I remember like actually laughing at a couple spots, I'll tell you one. Um, okay, well you might want to like skip the video at this point because it might spoil something so I'll give you a couple seconds to do that and go. Okay, uh, so anyway, there's this one point in the in one of the episodes where Parham is getting his back waxed and um, Whitney and or sorry, no, not Whitney. Um, Balin and Josie are fighting and like the Asian woman, or some kind of ethnicity woman, is, like, whack, pulling these wax strips off Parham's back and just, like, listening to the whole thing happen and just awkwardly there, like, 
why am I here ripping this hairy guy's back? <laughs> and I, it was so funny because she was just like awkwardly there waxing Parham's back, which is one of the funniest moments I think of the entire show. Third and final reason is um, one thing I like about this is they actually, some of the old characters from last season come back for like cameo appearances. For hang, to hang out with some of the other characters, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, so I thought that was cool. So, uh, But anyway, third and final reason is here, I actually feel like um, I connected well with the characters. Like, by the end of it, I was actually sad. Like, this is ending. I'm, I'm never going to see these people again. Because, like, like I said, Whitney, Ray, and Zach, I've seen f this is their second year in it now. Two times in a row for two years. Um... And now I'm never going to like see them again. Not that I would have seen them if I hadn't watched this show. But, um, yeah. But you kind of actually like have a sentimental bond with the characters because you watch all these episodes of them getting drunk and hooking up. <laughs> and so, yeah, I just like how they have um, a sentimental bond with the characters. And they all become, uh, they're just all like family and they all do these crazy things. Um... They just go, like, they go to Havasu. I think they did that last year, maybe. I don't know. They go camping. They do, like, lots, like, jetpacking. Uh, you'll just have to watch the show. So I definitely recommend season two. Just as good, if not better, than season one. Uh, in my opinion, I think season two is better than season one. Um, actually, well, mm, I don't know. <laughs> um, actually, leave it down in the comments. Which one do you think is better, season one or season two? after you watch it. Um, I definitely think you should watch this. S I'll look to subscribe somewhere in this general area. I make new videos every single Saturday. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching! Why do I sound like Kermit? I don't know. Okay, bye! Yeah!